Hi guys, this is a short video to show you how to fix a problem that can occur with 1Password where the URL that gets associated with your login entry is not the correct URL to log into a website. Uh, this will typically happen if the first time you use a username password combination, you're accessing something like an email money transfer or you are logging into a specific area of a site. Then when you try to use the login information to access that site, you might get an error, you might get sent to the wrong part of the site. I'm actually going to use a saved login I have here for 1Password for Families. Um, and this is a good example because what's happened is the URL that I have saved was the first sign-in URL. So what happened in this situation was I logged in the first time to sort of initialize the account and 1Password prompted me to save the login and I said, yes, let's save it. So my username and my password are correct, but the URL is going to be incorrect. And we'll see that if I just try to open this um, the way you normally would to open a link. You can see once I've tried to open the login from 1Password, it brings me to this sign up page. The problem is that I've already signed up and all I want to do is use the credentials to log into my account. This can happen on a number of pages and the way you fix this is you just associate a new URL with the login entry. So in this situation, what I actually want to do is I want to get to the sign in page. You can use the same process for any website that's causing you this trouble. What you'll just have to do is go to the basic sign in page where you enter your credentials and then you're going to want to copy the URL for that page. Okay, so you can see here it's just the page that I go to to sign in and use my credentials to log in. Once you've copied the URL, go back to your 1Password for Windows program and edit the entry for that login. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove the URL that isn't working. So go ahead and click delete and click add URL and then paste the URL that you just copied from the generic sign in page. So I'm going to go ahead and click paste and I'm going to click OK. And then click OK here and that's going to save that information. Now if I try to reopen this login as I did before, rather than taking me to the sign up page, it's going to take me to the login page and enter my credentials correctly. And then I can click sign in and you'll see that I'm able to access my page as I want to. So if you happen to have this problem, uh, please feel free to follow these steps and just remember that you need to replace the URL with the correct one for the default sign in for that site and uh, it should fix all the problems that you have. I hope you find this video helpful. Leave your comments and questions below and thanks for watching.